you've always been told to drink eight glasses of water a day. That if you feel thirsty, you're already dangerously dehydrated and that your goal is to have urine that's crystal clear. But what if I told you that this is one of the biggest and most persistent myths in modern health? The real story of hydration is not about following a rigid one-size-fits-all rule. The breakthrough is understanding that your body has an incredibly intelligent system for managing water and that forcing it to follow generic advice can be useless or in some cases even harmful. In this video, based on core principles of physiology and scientific studies, we're going to debunk the great hydration myth. You are about to learn why the eight glasses rule is wrong and how to hydrate your body the right way, according to science. It's time to unlearn the rules and finally understand your body. Stay with me. First, let's dismantle the most famous rule of all, the eight glasses a day mandate. Where did this idea even come from? It's often traced back to a 1945 recommendation from the US Food and Nutrition Board, but somewhere along the way, we lost the second half of that recommendation. The original advice stated that a significant portion of this water comes from the food we eat. That's right, you don't just drink your water, you also eat it. Roughly 20 to 30% of your daily fluid intake comes from solid foods. Think of water-rich fruits like watermelon, strawberries and oranges, or vegetables like cucumber, lettuce and celery. Even your morning coffee or tea and the soup you have for lunch contribute significantly to your hydration. So, the obsession with drinking exactly eight glasses of pure water ignores the huge contribution from your diet. The real daily requirement for water isn't a magic number. It's a dynamic amount that changes based on your body, your diet, the climate you live in, and how active you are. This brings us to the second myth. If you feel thirsty, it's already too late. This idea has created a lot of unnecessary anxiety. It paints thirst as a failure, a final alarm bell for a body in crisis. The scientific reality is the complete opposite. Thirst is not an emergency signal. It is one of the most finely tuned and sophisticated mechanisms in your body. Deep inside your brain, a region called the hypothalamus acts as your body's intelligent hydrostat. It has specialized sensors that constantly monitor the concentration of your blood. When your body loses water, your blood becomes slightly more concentrated with salt and other electrolytes. As soon as these sensors detect this subtle shift, the hypothalamus does two brilliant things. First, it releases a hormone called vasopressin, which instantly tells your kidneys to conserve water and excrete less. Second, it activates the sensation of thirst. This is a precise, early, and perfectly calibrated signal telling you, hey, now would be a good time to find something to drink. It's not a panic button. It's a gentle and timely request for a refill. For the average healthy person in normal conditions, Trusting your thirst is the most efficient and accurate hydration strategy there is. Now for a danger that is almost never discussed, the risk of drinking too much water. This leads us to debunking myth number three. Your urine must be perfectly clear. Constantly drinking in an effort to keep your urine crystal clear can lead to a condition called overhydration or hyponatremia. When you drink excessive amounts of plain water, you dilute the delicate balance of electrolytes in your bloodstream. Sodium is particularly important. Imagine your blood is a perfectly seasoned soup. Drowning it in plain water washes out all the essential flavor, the electrolytes that your cells need to function. This dilution causes your cells to swell up with water to restore balance, which is especially dangerous for your brain cells. This is a serious risk for endurance athletes who sweat out both water and salt and then replace it only with plain water. The ideal color of your urine is not clear. It's a pale straw-like yellow. If it's dark yellow or amber, you definitely need to drink more. But if it's consistently almost as clear as water, you are likely drinking too much, forcing your kidneys to work overtime to get rid of the excess fluid. So, if the old rules are wrong, what are the new rules? How do you hydrate intelligently? Here is a simple guide based on science. First, trust your thirst. I'll say it again. For most people in most daily situations, thirst is the best and most accurate guide you have. Let your body's ancient wisdom do its job. Second, eat your water. Make your diet work for you. By eating plenty of fruits, vegetables, and other water-rich foods, you are hydrating your body and getting valuable nutrients at the same time. Third, check your color, but know what you're looking for. Aim for that pale straw yellow color. It's the true sign of optimal hydration. And fourth, adjust for the circumstances. This is key. Your hydration needs are not static. If you're doing intense exercise and sweating a lot, you need to drink more and be proactive. 
If you're in a very hot climate or at high altitude, your needs will increase. If you're sick with a fever or diarrhea, you need to consciously replace lost fluids. In these specific situations, you should also consider replenishing electrolytes, not just drinking plain water. To naturally restore electrolyte balance, it's essential not to just drink plain water, but to combine hydration with eating foods rich in essential minerals. Adding a pinch of quality sea salt to your water and eating foods like bananas, avocados, nuts and leafy green chelps replenish the sodium, potassium and magnesium lost through sweat. This way, you provide your body not only with the water it needs, but also with the mineral salts necessary for proper cellular and muscular function. In the end, the goal is to move away from a single, rigid rule and towards a smarter, personalized approach. Stop counting glasses. Start listening to your body. It's more intelligent than any generic rule you'll ever read. You have an amazing built-in system for managing hydration. Learn to trust it. If this video changed the way you think about drinking water, please share it with someone who is still counting their glasses. Subscribe for more health myths debunked by science.